Hey friends, in the previous video, we had seen about McAfee installation and uh, subgroup creations including McAfee dashboard and system tree. Now we will see uh, about McAfee agent installation and about the McAfee agent. We will come to know about uh, what exactly is McAfee agent. McAfee agent is the distributed component of of ePolicy Orchestrator. Basically, it downloads and enforces the policies on the client machines and also it uh, run the or execute the client task for the product deployment or product updations, product updations and also it is responsible to collect the uh, incidents or collect the event which has occurred on the client machines. Without McAfee agent, it cannot be possible for McAfee EPO server to manage the system. Now we will see how McAfee agent can be installed on the client machines. There are the several ways to installing the McAfee agent on the client machines. Now we will see about the offline installation of the McAfee agent on the client machine. For the offline installation, you need to just create and download the package from the McAfee EPO server and run the downloaded exe file on the client machines. So for the creation of uh, McAfee agent, you need to click on the menu option and system tree. You can also go from here as well. And uh, after that, after reaching on the system tree, you need to just click on the new systems. In the first example, we will see about the uh, offline installation of McAfee agent. And after that, we will see uh, also with the new way of McAfee agent installation through the web uh, URL deployment. Once you click on the system tree, so you can see uh, different checkbox and different options comes over here uh, because I need to create and download agent installation package for the offline installation. So I click on here. After clicking on this, I can see few options has been changed because it is asking for the uh, operating system dependent agent because this is my Windows environment. So by default, it comes on Windows option selected over here. And uh, if, if you want to download the agent for Linux machine or Mac machine, so you need to just select on non Windows options. But in my case, because this is Windows based, so I have just selected Windows and uh, this is just showing the current version of McAfee agent. I have just selected this. We'll also let us see about these all options, what is agent handlers and the credential for agent installations as well. You can just embed the credentials in the package. The package which will be downloaded that can be customized for the uh, credentials for agent. So you can embed it, but in my case, just I'm downloading this package and I will run this package with the admin rights. So I have just selected and clicking on OK. After clicking on OK, after clicking on OK, I can see uh, uh, it is just agent package has been prepared, created. Now I need to just download this. So for downloading, there are some certain instructions is written here. It is just saying that right click and select save target as. Once I click on right click on the agent package, Once I, once I right click on here, it is just asking save target as. You can just select the location where you want to download. 
uh, by default it, uh, it is just downloading in the downloads folder of user profile and the default name of the agent is always frame package and uh, if you want to change the frame package name so just enter the frame package name over here but if you want to leave it so uh, you can leave it and just click on the save options but in my case I'm just uh, leaving this options Currently it is just uh, scanning the exe which is downloaded. Now I can see uh, the exe has been downloaded. And uh, once I click on the view downloads or open folder, open folder for the location where this file has been downloaded. Now I can see this is the frame package which has been downloaded. And it is the same name when it was asking to save the file, exe file. And now what I will do, I will just copy this file and I will move this file or, or paste this file on the, on the machine where I want to install the McAfee agent which will be managed by this EPO server. I am just copying it. I have, co I have copied this file on the uh, client machine where I will install the McAfee agent. I am just searching this file, I mean exe file. This is the exe file which I had copied from source machine, I mean the uh, EPU's orchestrator server where I have downloaded the file and uh, I have pasted this on, the, on this client machine. Now I will just execute this file. It will take hardly 27 or 30 seconds to deploying this McAfee agent. This is the beauty of McAfee agent. It, does, it never takes a lot of time. It never takes much time for the McAfee agent deployment. Either if you are deploying this McAfee agent offline or online. Once McAfee agent is installed on this machine, I am just getting this prompt. Uh, McAfee agent setup completed successfully so I need to click on OK. After clicking on OK I can see there is a there is an icon which comes it looks like it's a McAfee agent icon. Once I right click on this option so I can see there are the uh, four other options is here. One is update security, view security status, McAfee agent status monitor and about. Firstly, I will see about options over here. And uh, I can see in the McAfee agent, it is completely explaining about the, the, uh, about the system name and McAfee agent version. This is 5.5.1.342 and uh, it is just saying the policy enforcement interval that is one hour uh, and uh, agent to server communication interval also for one hour these all value uh, values are default and uh, e-policies orchestrator server IP address and host name and the port details are also here so this is the McAfee agent installation way and uh, we followed the offline installation of McAfee agent. Now we will see the McAfee agent installation through the web URL or other uh, options as well. And uh, this all activity we will see in the next upcoming video. Thank you for watching this video.